it was right about there that I was bent over Jim Walla, who was shot in the back. I took his glasses off, and I heard the air come out of him and knew that he was dead. My name is Reverend Nelson Johnson. I survived an attack by the Klan and Nazis in November of 1979, in which five people were killed, 10 were wounded, and this neighborhood was terrorized. Approximately where I'm standing, maybe a little bit behind me, people were gathering and they were singing and they were chanting. A lot of positive energy out here. About 20 minutes after 11, the Klan caravan, a line of cars came down and turned in this direction. When the eighth car in a nine car caravan stopped and the back of the trunk came up and people got out of the ninth car, came up to the eighth car, retrieved long weapons, uh, looked like shotguns, and started to fire in the direction of the crowd. At that time, I was uh, attacked by a Nazi with a butcher knife and actually, it was right in here, right about here, that we engaged each other. And um, he cut me through my arm when I was trying to block him. And then I heard the shots. In a few seconds, it stopped, and the cars rushed away. Michael was shot in the face right about here. Caesar was shot right about here. Jim Waller was shot closer back to this direction. Sandy Smith was trying to get the children behind a community center. When she came back around to get some more children, that's when she was hit. The stump of the tree is the only thing out here that provides a little bit of a land marker for where things happen because the bodies were on this side and um, I really didn't know this tree had been cut down until I came out here today. But cutting of this tree is like unpiling the stones that the priests piled up when they crossed over the River Jordan so that when your children's children ask what happened here, that tree would be a mechanism of memory so that we could tell the story. And unless we tell stories about the truth of our journey, then I'm afraid that we are locked into the worst of our yesterdays and therefore block the possibility of a bright tomorrow.